Hey, what's up guys? Tamo Ga here. It's been a long while, but now I'm back. And let's kick things off with another review. And this time it's Omega Man. This is Omega Man from Digimon Reboot. And the review is coming right up. Now taking a look at this figure, you can see that Omega Mon is pretty skinny. He is tall, but he is quite skinny. But I love the asymmetrical details in here. You can see the purple one and then the gold orange one. It really, really accentuates the mall kit and it's really quite nice in my opinion. Although there are a lot of whites here and those whites will be covered up with stickers. And if you guessed it, I hate using stickers. They are awful, so I refrain from using them and eventually, eventually let's hope that I can get the chance to paint this guy, especially now since my wife is um, six months now. So there goes painting right off the window. Anyway, let's get into the possibility here. Head is on just a single pole joint, so you can go up and down only that much. And as for the shoulders, they can swing up just that much. They can rotate here and here. They can bend on the elbow pretty far. Let's see if it can do both hands. Yes, it can. And well, since there is missing hands here, only have the only chance we have is the mouth of both of these. So it can open this one pretty wide. And also this one can open up pretty wide as well. For the waist, it can go side to side. Not much forward movement, only that much downward movement, not so much. And let's get into the legs. Legs can do the splits not so much like that. It can do front kick pretty far. And since there are no skirts, back kick unimpeded. Knees can bend, just take the wings off because they keep falling off. Knees, they can bend that far. And the feet can go side to side. They can do somewhat of a rotation and the toes can bend. Lastly, we have the wings here, which are just connected right here. So the wings can swing up and down, and then the swing parts can swing up like that, and then collapse like so. Overall, you can do some pretty quick and awesome action poses with this guy. Obviously, not so much because you have to limit yourself with pieces bumping up into one another. If you can find a chance to pose this guy, I believe you can pull off some pretty neat poses. Now let's get into accessories. First off, the thing that I don't know, we have this guy and this is the only one that I use stickers with because you can't replicate this. So yeah, I don't know what this is for. It may be part of the show, but I haven't watched Digimon in a long, long time now. So pardon me, I don't know what this is. Next that we have is this guy. This is a base stand which you can just plug in here like that. And with the correct action base adapter, you can do some aerial poses the Mega Mon. Next that we have are its weapons. And we have this one cannon and then sword. The sword has nice engravings in it which is pretty neat because if this came with stickers only it will be horrible to recreate so that's a fine idea and so for putting the cannons up just open the mouth and remove the short cannon here and just replace it with a big one there we go and as for the sword just open up the mouth right here again and then slide the sword in and close the mouth like so so you have a Mega Mon with a sword and a cannon doing some action poses with this. It's pretty, pretty well implemented. There's only one downside to Mega Mon and if over time, the ankle joints are really loose. So just one flick and it will come tumbling down. Just standing on the shelf, it will come tumbling down. So that's, I guess that's a problem that you have to be careful of because it will fall down without question. So you just tighten up the joints in the ankles here and you'll be fine. Overall, it's pretty good. Let's do some size comparisons now. First off, let's do a Gundam size comparison here. Master Grade RX-7802. You see almost the same height, almost. Uh, the RX-7802 just a 
just rinse out a little more on the height there and then we have the figurized broly now this one is towering on the omega mon but well you can expect that with broly it towers over anyone else lastly we have this guy i haven't reviewed this yet i just finished both of this and this is gosor this is one of bandai's recent mall kits that's not Gundam related so yeah expect a review for this soon and well only measures up to the chest area for Megamon so there we go overall Megamon is not bad especially when you're into painting if you put a little effort in here painted the whites details here and here and there you can really make this pop and it's a possibility although the ankles here are a bit tricky once you get it in the air with the use of an, use of an action base adapter, all your problems will go out of the window. And well, if you're a fan, there's really not much in terms of mall kits for Mega Man. This is a solid buy, and I highly recommend it. And once again, if you'd like to see more, hit like and subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for the subscribers, and I promise to do more content in the future. And as always, I hope you guys enjoy the hobby. See you guys.